Ago, you won't remember how the downtown area looked before the makeover in the 1990s. So tonight, we're going to use an archive story to show you the before and after for South Market Street. First, we're going to show you what it looks like today. We've got the St. John's Restaurant on one corner, the TVA Complex across the street, Warehouse Row just down the block. You know what? None of that was here 30 years ago. Instead, we had a group of small businesses in decaying storefronts. This story from 1984 shows us how the change started. There's gold here in these run-down, rat-trap, brick-and-mortar buildings lining South Market Street. Why else would the city flex a muscle to buy them? The answer is location. This strip is a straight line between two very busy points, the new TVA complex downtown and Chattanooga Choo Choo. In other words, prime real estate for redevelopment. Plans are to make this a major retail stretch. The thing that happened and we put together the land <coughs> that ultimately became the uh, TVA complex. We put together the land that ultimately became the Trade Center Hotel complex. We put together the land that ultimately became the Blue Cross Blue Shield building. It's the same kind of thing. If you put a, a large package together, you can make an attractive development. But it's not attractive to property owners. They say the city has kept them in the dark about the project, like when they'll have to move out, whether or not they'll get reimbursement money to move, and how much the city's willing to offer. I don't think that they have a right to keep us on a yo-yo string and do uh, without telling us something definite because we cannot carry on and carry our business at, down there without having something worked out. Do I have a business or I don't, do I not have one? You know, what, uh, what do they intend to... Uh, what do they intend to uh, give us? How do, how, do, how, do they in, how do they intend to work out our problems for us? And we've never got those answers, truthfully. Their biggest concern is money. They wonder whether the city will give them a decent price for their buildings. And some of them would have preferred to negotiate a sale to a buyer themselves. Individual bargaining, so that developer would not have uh, the power of eminent domain. He'd be at the mercy of whoever's there. He just would not get it. It doesn't happen that way. There's a good possibility that this dispute may end up in court, especially if the city's offer doesn't come close to what the owners think their property is worth. One thing's for certain, though, this property is going to be worth a lot more money in the future years. The question is, who will benefit from it? Gene Pinder, TV12, Tri-State Report. What a difference, right? The makeover continues on South Market. One of the last strips of old businesses is getting new tenants. They're directly across from the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Remember the old Alice restaurant and its neon frog? Well, soon a new restaurant will move in, and the hot chocolatier will also move here by the end of the month. The building owner, get this, even talking about bringing back the neon frog.